I got WrestleMania this weekend. I've got an autograph signing at WrestleCon uh, Friday, April 1st from 2 to 6. It's a stacked card, man. I cannot believe how much talent is on this card. It's got to be 200 people. Okay, I'm in my car here in Frisco, Texas, about to uh, hit LA Fitness. I am on my way to a Starbucks because I feel like I need a little pick-me-upper. I usually get a, an ice Americano. and uh, But I have been getting it blended up with a little bit of milk, with no base, no sugar, using my Stevia for sweetener. And <clears throat> it's been a great little drink. But I think I'm just gonna get an ice Americano. Make it real simple, quick and easy. And I'm debating whether I'm gonna, I did legs today, earlier today. I may do uh, shoulders, tries, abs, and cardio, or just cardio. I haven't decided. So, we'll see. I'm gonna do something though. I wanna finish off with a hot sauna. I just ordered my ice Americano. Now it's time to pay the gal at the window. It's a quite an interesting camera view. Oh, one second. You guys were closed for the longest time, like around this time. What was going on there? You guys just closing early? Yeah, we, uh, we had temporary uh, hours to, uh, so we could find more people. Uh, like find more workers. What's that? Find more workers. Yeah, pretty much. The workers. Yeah, we're back at nine every day. You're open till nine now. Yeah. Okay. Can I get a stir stick and napkins, please? And that's two shots, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, ice Americano. I'm gonna doctor this up with a little stevia. Stevia sweetener, all natural sweetener. Does not spike your insulin at all. And um, I'm gonna probably do shoulders, tries, and abs, and then cardio and sauna. Get it all done. Get it all in. Let's see if I can fix this uh, camera angle. <clears throat> Yeah, not bad. You know, I'm going to have to shoot on my phone. I got WrestleMania this weekend. I've got an autograph signing at WrestleCon uh, Friday, April 1st from 2 to 6. It's a stacked card, man. I cannot believe how much talent is on this card. It's got to be 200 people, 200 talent, and some, some of the biggest names ever. God, they maxed that out. Hardly put any ice in it. Oh well. Some lighting. So um, I wanted to document this event, you know, the weekend event with Friday, Saturday being WrestleMania day one and Sunday day two of WrestleMania. So my business partner, Dr. Janaid Khan, a shout out to Killer Khan, Dr. Killer Khan. Uh, he got tickets, he wanted to go, and I thought, you know what, let's do it, man. It's kind of a, I would say it's once in a lifetime because it could happen again. You know, it could happen a couple times, but it's very rare that you get this opportunity. And he's a huge, you know, wrestling fan. Um, I know that, you know, wrestling is a cultural thing. And I know that he had mentioned that, you know, him and his, I, I believe his father, um, they, they watched wrestling together. And so it just brings, you know, it brings, it brings people closer together. It brings families closer together. It's just like baseball or anything else. But... Um, I think that was the connection, uh, but he just grew up watching wrestling, old school. You know, he's we're about the same age. I think I'm a little older, six months older, but um, and you know, it's 187 years old. But um, look good for my age, right? Those anti-aging clinics are working really well. Not. But anyway, we're gonna go to WrestleMania, and I thought it would be cool to go out as a fan perspective. Like, here I am, 
my dad being the fifth wrestler in the history of the WWE become champion for that company, for the WWE, right? Back then it was the WWF when he worked for the company. It was the WWF when I worked for it and grew up watching WWF. And then they switched it to WWE. Same company, same promotion. You know, the McMahon ran promotion. Uh, but anyway, they're coming to Dallas. It's going to be at AT&T Stadium. It'll be a hundred plus thousand people there. I would. I don't know about both days. It's going to be a lot of people though. And you know, when he first brought it up to me, Dr. Khan, I was. He goes, "You want to go to WrestleMania?" And I'm like, "Man, not really, because not because I wouldn't want to hang out with him and 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 experience the event, you know, to do something fun. But it was just kind of mixed emotions because you know, I had my ten years there. Um, I the way that they inducted my dad in the Hall of Fame, I thought was very very low class. You know, they never mentioned. They never notified me. They never invited me to even be at the uh, venue to, you know, show my respects and to honor the veterans or the legends. You know, they put him in a legends wing, which is no offense to anybody in the legends wing, but he was the fifth wrestler in the history of the company. I thought that he deserved just a little bit more, you know, acknowledgement or attention, you know? I mean, just to have, I figured they would have called upon me, you know, his only son, that I happen to be a speaker so it's not like I couldn't come up with some script and just share a couple funny stories and receive this, you know, award or honor in my dad's name and our family name. And, uh, you know, thank you very much and good night. That never came. And I, and I campaigned for this for years. And I've mentioned this in a few of my interviews. If you check out my channel here, make sure you like and subscribe and share and uh, hit the, the bell notification. So I'm going to start pumping out more new content. I just got all those interviews, there, there are segments with uh, wrestling shoot interviews with James Romero and uh, Hannibal TV with uh, Devin Nicholson, Hannibal, and uh, you know, I, I talk about the Hall of Fame with my father and the way they, they, they inducted him. It was just very, very disheartening. It really hurt, man. It really, really did. So I, I, I'm, I'm not one to be this bitter person and to point fingers and bitch and complain. I'm really not. But just the way they went about that it's so hard for me to even imagine supporting WWE you know in any way at that point to me it was just a slap in the face it was just very disrespectful especially when I anticipated and promoted it for so long campaign you know to induct my father in the Hall of Fame and not only did they just throw him in the legends wing they gave him a 30 second video package they never gave they never notified me never called me never said anything never invited me to the the, the venue like that's just to me that's just it, it, I mean, it's, and I'm not just saying it because it's my story, and and obviously I'm going to be um, having a, an, an emotional investment there. But it's just rationally, like think about that logically. Is that does that sound right, man? Like, I I just feel like that that how how did you how could you miss that? How could you miss? Oh, we we just simply had a brain fart. We just forgot. Yeah, Sean, we just forgot that, you know. I mean, not only the way that they put him in the Hall of Fame, but the fact that they didn't even notify me, they didn't invite me. I mean, come on. To me, it was almost like a deliberate kick in the nuts, man. It really was. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore because I get pissed the, the fuck right off when I think about it. But, um, yeah, anyway, so enough with that. But, I, I, ironically, I'm going... So, Dr. Khan got tickets for not just WrestleMania, but also the SmackDown show that's gonna have the Hall of Fame right after, and I'm gonna go to that, and that's gonna be, that's a little touchy for me. But anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm going from a place of just, you know what, let's just be fans again, let's just, you know, enjoy the moment, enjoy the experience, and I was gonna document, and do like a little mini documentary, uh, with a, you know, like a camera or a camcorder. I went to Best Buy yesterday, uh, because I had a Sony camera, about a year and a half ago and I used it finally after about a, a year of it just sitting there collecting dust but it started overheating all the time there was something defective with it so I ended up taking it back getting a credit an in-store credit on, on a Best Buy card and I went yesterday because I got my new computer up and running finally uh, I had gotten the camera the computer and lighting and all this these different um, ancillaries you know uh, back in August of 2020 and I just recently now gotten this stuff up and running took me forever but here I am I got it done and I love the computer it's great it's, an, it's a Hewlett Packard you know very light uh, so fast processing anyway I better cut myself off before I go down another rabbit hole but my point is is that I went to go look for a camera uh, yesterday and the guy tells me the sales guy says 
man, we don't have anything in stock. We have all these displays out here on out on the table, but we don't have anything in stock because they require these chips. Same thing with these cars, with the automobile industry because of COVID, I guess, and, and there are certain manufactured chips or some technology that they need to be able to put these you know, cars, and in this case, cameras together, and there's nothing around. So I was gonna get a camcorder, a Sony, right? They had that, they had one of those in stock, and it was about the same, probably around a thousand bucks for, you know, the, the Sony camera that I was looking at was a little smaller, almost like the size of my phone, um, like a Galaxy S20 Plus is what I have. And, uh, but there, they had nothing was, you know, in stock. So that was my other option. But then I was talking to my videographer, my friend, Chris Gomberry, who's going to be editing this video. So, Hey, Chris, check out Chris's uh, YouTube channel, uh, best muscle it's called. And, uh, if you're a fitness, uh, gym rat, you should probably check it out. You'll enjoy it. It's got a lot of videos there, mainly women competitors, fitness women. Anyway, um, if, if you're into that kind of thing, I don't know. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're into this channel. Maybe you're into Sean Stasiak's world. Okay. Anyway, um, so I call Chris to run by him the, the specs of this camera, and he's giving me the rundown, this, that, and the other. And um, he asked me, he goes, Are you allowed to, can you bring that into American Airlines Arena and ATT Stadium? I said, why not? And then I thought about it. You know, maybe you can't. And then I looked it up online, and sure enough, they're they're not permitted because they don't want you recording the event. Um, they're just that for whatever reason, I guess copyright reasons. I mean, people record video of you know get video footage of these events. You see it all the time, right, from their phones. But I don't think they want to enable that. They don't want to encourage that. That's why even the selfie sticks aren't allowed in those venues so I'm gonna have to shoot this from my phone and that's what I'm doing right now here in my car um, I'm gonna shoot some highlights for you know the next well Friday the autograph signing I'm gonna see you know just get a feel for the energy and who's in the room and what opportunities I might have to interact with some of the legends or any wrestlers maybe some old friends whatever some colleagues that I worked with <clears throat> maybe pick up a few little pieces of conversation there um, I'll, I'll, if not, I'll just get some interaction of me with my fans and I'll have my little booth and area. And then after that, we're going to SmackDown, the American Airlines Arena. So I'll get some highlights there, the Hall of Fame, uh, and then of course day one and day two of WrestleMania. So I just thought it would be interesting to be among 100,000 people as a fan, as a spectator. And the irony being my dad was the fifth wrestler in the history of the company to become champion. I myself had my tenures there and here I am. Um, as a fan going and normally if I've ever gone to Wrestlemania I was either you know I actually never had a real spot with Wrestlemania I never had an opportunity with the actual Wrestlemania event I at one time in Houston Wrestlemania 17 and that was a, deb a debacle uh, there's a story behind that it's called the Wrestlemania leak apparently I ruined the surprise of WCW members being at Wrestlemania um, to help Shane McMahon out uh, I guess his dad that was uh, I think he was wrestling his dad in um, on that card and there was some angle they were gonna uh, do with us but apparently because I did a, a wrestling interview or an interview on a radio station in Tampa which I thought I was doing a good deed by promoting the company promoting Wrestlemania I was excited about going back to WWE because it's the only place I ever wanted to work you know and here I am putting my foot in my mouth and almost got fired before I could ever make my second tenure with the company so I could just never I said this is a quote it's a quote that's you know out there I we could never get it right man WWE and I so it is what it is but um, I never I've never had a match I've never had really participated in a, in a WrestleMania and so <clears throat> you know I'm going as a fan this time I'd either be backstage at, you know visiting uh, I've been to a couple WrestleManias as a guest backstage and put up in a special area where the family and friends of the you know the talent would be. Uh, the last one was in Houston in 2009. Ironically enough, it was another Houston WrestleMania. But um, yeah, the one, the first one, the the one that I was like in this little box with some WCW talent and had the camera on us for like maybe five or seven, eight seconds. 
that was my WrestleMania moment. Um, that was at the Astrodome. The one in 2009 was at the, uh, I think it was Minute Maid. So maybe the names changed. It's where the, I believe it's where the, uh, the Houston, uh, uh, what are they called? The, the football team. I'm drawing a blank. How am I drawing a blank? Help me out here, guys. What's the Houston football team's name? Texans. The Texans. Yeah. Um, that that big stadium. So, anyway, I'm going to shoot for my phone. I'll try to pick up some, uh, some good footage. And I just thought it would be an interesting video. And I'm sure I'll interact with fans and sign some autographs, take some pictures, and have fun. You know? That's the whole idea. So, it'll be fun with Dr. Khan. And um, we're going to be putting together a really kick-ass, it's going to be a weight management, fat loss, pain management program. But it's going to be an overall wellness betterment program. So stay tuned for that. I'll be promoting things here on the channel, but I'm also just going to be coming from the heart and just sharing stories and insights and thoughts and whatever. But this channel is, I call it Sean Stasiak's world for a, a reason. My world consists of a lot of, you know, I wear a lot of different hats. It's very diverse. I hope you enjoy the content, and um, I'm going to try to be, you know, creative. And uh, but this will be a landing ground for a place to call home that will kind of let you all know what I've got going on, uh, where you can go to uh, seek out anything that that I'm doing, that I'm part of, that maybe you can be part of. Um, whether you know it's my Facebook. Um, page, you know, at Sean Stasiak hyphen Stippich, uh, Instagram and Twitter are, you know, Dr. Sean, D R S H A W N 008, that's 008, like 007, James Bond. I had to go one letter or one number up, you know, of course, I got to, I had to, I had a, I had a one up Sean Connery, man. God bless him, right? God rest his soul. But anyway, um, you know, uh, TikTok, I'm working on a, another character, another alter ego. Of course, you can go to some of my outdated websites, uh, but I'll, I'll mention and list, and all those things are actually listed um, under the description here on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, I'm gonna drink this coffee. I'm gonna get in there. I got a, I got a shoulder try ab workout and do some cardio and sauna. I got a lot to do in two hours. Gym closes in a couple hours, so I gotta get moving. So on that note, it was nice talking to you. And um, please, again, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the love and support. Um, comment, share, like, dislike. <laughs> no, no dislikes, man. Come on. You got to like my stuff. Come on. Um, now, just be, you know, be authentic. Be real. Don't be a hater. Maybe you weren't a Sean Stasiak fan. Maybe, maybe you don't agree with maybe everything I say or anything I say. Or any any stance I might have, but just uh, you know, be intelligent about your, you know. Some people just get on there and just they just they're just straight up haters, and I don't know. I'm like, why even bother like taking the time to uh, got a text coming in here um, to even like comment like if it's just negative like like you feel better about yourself. I mean, really. Um, you got an opposing opinion or stance state it intelligently man that's all be nice all right on that note i'm signing off on that note goodbye let's get some better lighting here goodbye goodbye and that was cheesy and we're out